Forget Me Not, Seven Steps for Healing Our Body, Mind, Spirit, and Mother Earth. I am Ani Kalaijian, and I'm so excited to share this wonderful book with you. Part one of this book focuses on childhood and generational trauma, and at the end of each chapter, we have self-reflection, part one, on your childhood, school age, managing your caregivers and parents, and generational transmission of trauma. Part two is about embracing adulthood, transitioning to adulthood, and self-reflection that is about your shifts. What are your shifts? Your strengths, areas you need to develop further, areas you wish to change, positive ancestral lessons you have learned, and the meaning in your existence and in your life. Part three focuses on outreach to families, communities, and the world. The self-reflection part of that focuses on identifying your support system, such as your family, your friends, and community. Using IDEAL, which is an acronym, identify, describe, express, and let go of all negative emotions. Nurture empathy while learning, listening skills, and then letting go of all negative emotions, transforming horizontal violence and trauma, sharing your positive lessons with three people, and asking them to share those with a minimum of three others. Part four focuses on making meaning out of the nonsense that we experience in the world. The self-reflection for part four focuses on discovering your situational and global meaning. We can find meaning in any situation, even the most horrific and the most traumatic one. Nurturing ancestral wisdom, identifying your challenges, practicing the seven steps of forgiveness, nurturing mindful healing, and releasing toxic people from your circle. Part 5 focuses on healing yourself and sharing this knowledge with others. In order to make healing sustainable, we need to be mindful of sharing them with others. That's how I discovered the 7-step integrative healing model, working and outreaching to over 46 countries around the world and in over 25 states in the United States. The seven step integrative healing model has seven steps as indicated. The first step is about identifying, assessing, and measuring your feelings. As Michelangelo said at age 87, I am still learning, and I feel the same way. I am still learning in spite of all the outreach that we have done in almost 30 years. Step two focuses on expression and release of your negative feelings. You are confined only by the walls you build yourself. Healing doesn't mean that the damage never existed. It means that the damage is no longer controlling your life. Step three focuses on empathy and validation in order to reach closure. As Paola Colo said, when love rules, power disappears. While when power rules, love disappears. The fourth step is the transitional step. Transitioning from victimhood to victorhood. Discovering and expressing positive meaning in our life. As Maya Angelou said it so poignantly, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. 
Step five, we focus on gathering information because information is power. It empowers us. As Carlos Castaneda said, we either make ourselves miserable or we make ourselves strong. The amount of work is the same, so the choice is yours. The sixth step is about connecting with Mother Earth. The Earth is 4.6 billion years old. Let's scale that to 46 years. We have been here for four hours. Our industrial revolution began one minute ago. In that time, we have destroyed more than 50% of the world's forest. This isn't sustainable anymore. And the seventh step is a combination of breath, movement, and quieting our minds, affirming with positive statements and transforming through soul surfing exercises. As Viktor Frankl said it so well, between a stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our responses. In our response lie our growth and our freedom. As reflections, are about your own practice. We invite you to practice this well-known, renowned seven steps in as many times as you can, weekly, proactively, and preventively. We invite you to begin with a minimum of 10 deep breaths per day, right before going to sleep increasing it by five additional breaths each week to follow. Then we say the most important step is to start right now. Not when you graduate or you get married or buy a new home or car. Right now. The time is now. Kindly share what you have learned with a minimum of three people and then ask them to share it with three additional people. Part seven, we have a combination of wonderful handouts and attachments that you can print and put on your walls and frame it and gift it to your relatives, friends and neighbors and colleagues. The first one is on managing your emotions. Next is a list of feelings to help you identify your feelings. Then we have the COPE model to help you with your empathic and assertive communication. Then we have the seven step integrative healing model. And we have that model for children and adolescents, for adults as well as for older adults. We have questionnaires assessing your level of trauma, Harvard Trauma Questionnaire. We have Forgiveness Questionnaire, Meaning Questionnaire, and How to Grieve, helping you in your grieving process. We also share a list of our Meaningful World Humanitarian Outreach Projects in different countries and states. We have emotion, a sample of emotional genogram, and we invite you to at least try to do your own, just like your family tree, but this one is focusing on the emotional relationships the mental illnesses or addictions or different challenges in your family. This is a wonderful tool for prevention. The next one is on pointing the finger. I hope you enjoyed the short overview of the book Forget Me Not. It is available on paperback on, uh, and Kindle on Amazon 
and in your bookstores nearby. Kindly click on the link below to order your own private copy. Have a wonderful healing journey and don't hesitate to keep in touch and share your reflections with us.